Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are watching this on a Friday, I'm hoping that means that you have clicked out of my email newsletter to watch this video. Um, if you have not subscribed to my newsletter and you're watching this on a Saturday um, on my YouTube channel or any other day of the week, there is a link in the description down below um, to sign up for my newsletter that comes out every week ish and i aim to include a exclusive or an early release video in my newsletter every single week so this week i thought we'd make a bit of a start on some christmas cards but i am not using the january the july to december catalog i've dipped into the annual because these are like hidden gems for me they are they were in july to december a couple of years ago and I love them and I use them every Christmas and I just think they're beautiful. Love the font. You guys know how much I am, um, how much a font girl I am. Um, so I love that. And then this is kind of two-step stamping, which is what I'm going to show you today. I just love it. So I thought we'd make a kind of quick-ish layered stamp, stamp layering Christmas card with a bit of two-step stamping. Um, keep it really simple so you can make this one again and again and again. This, um, so both of these are in the annual catalogue, along with the coordinating set of dies. So this is Christmas to remember, Christmas season and the seasonal labels. Now, let me just show you where they are in the catalogue, because it took me a little while to find them. I'm going to have to go to the back because I can't actually remember where I found them. So Christmas, 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 Christmas season, page 44. So... They are a little bit hidden in the all occasions section. There are two pages of um, Christmas season, Christmas to remember. Um, and we've got a couple more kind of Christmassy sets hidden away in the all occasions section of the annual catalogue. Um, always worth a look for a bit of kind of Christmas magic in that catalogue. So, shall we get started? I have already layered, I've already got all my um, stamps already on blocks. And I have got, I've got a fabulous colour combination actually today. I have got Shaded Spruce, which for me is just Christmas green. That is just Christmas green. Old Olive, Crushed, crumb, crushed Curry, Crumb Cake and Soft Suede. So it's something, not red, because tend to use red on every because of Christmas card. It's always red. They're always red and green. Um, but I've, I've, I've taken the red out and replaced it with a bit of yellow. But it's still going to be really festive. So, I've also got a um, card base in that shaded spruce colour. I just love this. It, it just, it is, that is Christmas green, isn't it? I don't know about anybody, what anybody else thinks. This is like the green Christmas. I've got a piece of basic white. Uh, which is cut half a centimetre shorter and narrower than my card base. And then I've already gone ahead and used this fabulous label die from that um, seasonal labels die set to die cut a label out. So I think the first thing we'll do is get our sentiment on this label piece. Um, and I'm going to stamp, I think, in soft suede. This is not a colour I use all that often, um, but just just fancied it for this card I've got to say so I've got the sentiment that says may this Christmas may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish which I just think is lovely I'm going to stamp that right in the middle of there straight down straight up just on there really pretty really simple so the next bit I'm going to move out my, my card base out of the way and move my sentiment piece out of the way I'm going to take this this piece of a basic white cardstock. And I've got some of the leaves from that um, Christmas season stamp set. Uh, some of the dots and the large pine cones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this, this sentiment piece kind of where I want it on my card. Just so I've got a bit of an idea of where I'm putting these pine cones. The pine cones are going to go on first because they're the big kind of statement pieces. And then we can fit the leaves in and things around them afterwards. So you've got two of the pine cones. They layer together to give you one dimensional image. So the one that's kind of more solid is your base image. So I'm going to start this one in crumb cake. 
and I'm going to go there and then layer that piece back on just so I know kind of where it's going to go just to give me some sort of idea of placement and then there so you've got our three pine cones already sort of on I'll close up my my crumb cake for a moment then I'm going to take the less solid pine cone image I'm going to use that soft suede again and I'm going to move this completely out of the way this time don't need that now and then we can just looking through the clear block see our image underneath and get it sort of lined up but it's not it doesn't have to be perfect because actually it it's it doesn't matter it will look gorgeous even if it's a little bit off stamp that down there and then again and here you see they just they do line up really easily I mean, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit off but they give you really lovely kind of dimensional images which is great so oh i'm gonna take that that's all of our soft suede for today not a color i use a lot i've got to admit i'm gonna take some shaded spruce and this kind of long leaf die, leaf stamp, sorry. And I'm going to stamp that a couple of times, just around about. And I am kind of going off the page, off the, um, off my um, piece of cardstock. And that's fine. You know, it, that adds to the effect. I've put my fingernail in my shaded spruce typical then i'm going to grab my old olive and i've got this leaf stamp now this i have not got quite enough blocks so i'm going to swap swap some um some stamps around so old olive on this one and i'm going to just overlap it a little bit and it just gives you that kind of overlapped effect where you've stamped kind of already you've already got ink down it looks a different color can you see so the the, the previous image kind of shows through because it just gives you a really lovely layered effect so that's my old olive and then i take the i mean really it's spruce it should have been in shaded spruce but I'm, i don't care um i'm going to take this in crumb and um, crumb cake crushed curry I'm just going to stamp this around a little bit. Now, so far, I've been using the Law of Three. Um, and I tend to do that a lot when I'm making anything, really, that I will stamp things three times because nature likes an odd number. So I've gone for five with the um, crushed curry. Just because I felt it needed a bit more filling in. Um, but I stick to that odd number. And then I'm going to go back to my crumb cake and the dots. And all I'm doing is just sort of filling in a little bit where I just want a little bit more something. Just, yeah. It doesn't have to be... Just, just that extra bit of detail. I'll just really set this card apart and that's it you could do this you know so quick so simple and actually you could do a whole sheet and cut it up rather than doing like one piece at a time you could do a whole A4 just stamp stamp all over it make your own designer series paper um, and then cut it into card fronts so I'm going to take my stamping seal a bit of seal on the back of that piece of basic white that we've stamped already straight onto my card base it's a little bit wonky actually that's okay and then we've got christmas maybe this be a christmas drum and i'm looking at that and going oh i think that needs a little bit of linen thread actually i'm gonna pop a bow on it so i've got some linen thread i love this stuff this is like a staple in my craft room really does come in really really handy just for those you know when you just need something just a little 
a little something. So I'm going to tie a bow in my linen thread. Just like so. I'm going to keep the bow quite little, but I want the tails quite long just because I really like that look. I'll pop my, I tend to keep my linen thread in the bag as well because otherwise it sort of unravels and goes everywhere. So I want some dimensionals, she says, and she can find them. So three dimensionals on the back of that sentiment piece. And we know where this is going because that's how we how we did our stamping in originally. So I was going to pop that there and then I'm going to grab a my the mini glue dots. I love these. They're so handy. And they just come on a, on a on a strip on a roll. Can you just see can you see them? Maybe. Um and all I do is you can either stick you could stick the bow directly on it, but because actually that dot is bigger than the bow, you just take a pick and take the glue dot and sort of fold it in half, and then fold it in half again so you've got kind of a ball of a quarter, and then we can just pop that exactly where we want it, underneath our bow, and you can't tell it's there. But that bow is going nowhere. And that is my Christmas card for today. Thank you ever so much for joining me, either in my newsletter or just randomly on YouTube. Please do um, consider giving this a thumbs up, a comment if you like this video, or um, oh, hitting, a subs hitting subscribe and, and not missing another video from me. If you've not subscribed to my newsletter, do pop down in the link below and grab that subscription as well. And I will see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.